What made Andy Roberts a great bowler was his thinking. He was the most difficult bowlers and the most quickest, I believe, I've been told by all the Pakistani great openers. Andy Roberts was part of that uh, fearsome West Indian bowling attack of the early 80s and uh, you know, I used to love watching them running in and bowl. Well, he's gone. Roger Binney straight to Joel Garner who's having a pretty good day here. Joel Garner having a good time in the field and certainly Andy Roberts are getting some results out there as well. Andy Roberts, they say, was probably the quickest and nearly the meanest of that bunch. You'd speak to a lot of the West Indies fast bowlers that I played against you, and uh, in many ways Andy Roberts played a huge role in their development. As a matter of fact, he taught me a lot when I bowled with him. You hear all the stories about him bowling quicker bounces and slower bounces, sort of lining batsmen up. You had to be pretty brave as a batsman and there was a lot of, I think they saw a lot of fear in the batsman's eyes. And of course his skill, he was very crafty. He could bowl slow deliveries that were almost undetected by the opposition batsmen. And one's enough, is it? Yes, Clive Lloyd at the second attempt, standing on his own at slip. Bailey is gone for 13. And he was a very difficult bowler to face, wide of the crease, tall guy. Andy Roberts was as good as any of them, but he was quicker and, uh, and he was a, a ruthless bowler. He was very skillful with the movement of the ball and of course the change of pace would catch out a lot of batsmen. Oh, well done, that's beautifully bowled. Gavaskar is gone, the first wicket down and Andy Roberts in the middle of this great spell of bowling from uh, himself and Joe Garner has taken the first Indian wicket. Not only was he quick, but he was skillful. And of course, 150 plus, a nightmare.